Welcome back, the Whiskey Philosopher, and uh, today I'm going to educate you about what I say is maybe the most dangerous drink in Japan. Uh, this is called uh, Chuhai, and for those of you who don't know it, for those of you who live here, you know this very well. And uh, Chuhai is, I don't know, what is that? It's made from potatoes, right? Let me think. Sake is made from rice, and Chuhai is, uh, sorry, shochu, <laughs> sorry. Chuhai is made with shochu, shochu and fruit juice mixed together, and it's carbonated. And pardon me, shochu is made from potato. Yeah, and so these, these drinks, these chuhai, they come in all different flavors, and they come in like 5%, 9%, this is 9%. Uh, and I heard that recently they're, they're coming in uh, 12%, and I haven't had one of those. Um, so, so basically it's like wine strength almost, uh, or a really, really strong beer if it's the 9%. And the, the problem is that they're so damn delicious and they, they go down so easily. Uh, you know, in the warm weather, um, you know, if you're, you're pounding these at a barbecue or a beach, you're, you're, you're going to be in a hurry. You're going you're to be in some trouble. Um, and the good thing about them, however, so for, for drier tastes, or maybe the guys have drier tastes, I don't know. This one's called Bitter Lemon, and that's kind of a nice balance uh, between you know, sweet and sour, and I also like uh, grapefruit, and uh, the lemon is a little too, lemon was the original flavor, lemon is a little too sour for me, actually, it, it gets your stomach a little bit, and, uh, but now the flavors have just gotten out of control in a good way, uh, attracting the female crowd, right, there's pineapples and apple and cherry and I don't even know what else, it, there's just uh, all kinds of flavors that, that the ladies like. And which is a good thing because this brings me to part two of, of what I wanted to say today. Pardon me. Oh, that's good, man. And the carbonation, man, it really, really makes it go down easy. Um, part two is uh, thinking when I was in high school and even early university. I mean, but mostly in high school. <laughs> I mean, think of think of back then. You know, now I'm talking to my high school friends who, who might be uh, tuning in here. Uh, think about what there was for young ladies to drink back then. It was nothing, right? And even for us guys, right? I mean, when it was like Miller High Life, uh, you know, just thinking back to the, the beers that were, you know, out in those parties out in the woods, those secret illegal, <laughs> hey, baby girl, secret illegal parties for... Uh, Teens. Hey, sweetie monkey. And uh, what was her first, you know, unless, you know, unless you could get some young lady to like Miller High Life, which we barely liked, right? Or maybe there was Bud also, I suppose. And, uh, you know, the, the ladies just weren't getting into the, the party mood, if you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, shortly after that, I think after I graduated high school and got into university, do you remember Bartlett's and James, right? They're, they're wine coolers. That, those guys, I'm sure they weren't real guys, but whoever that company was, man, they had the cultural idea pinned down. They knew, um, hey, we need to get the girls drinking something here. And, uh, hey, Kenichiwa. Okay, I'm back. Kind of lost where I was going there, so my neighbor came over and uh, we, we had a chat and <laughs> this is another funny cultural note so I've, I've lived next to these folks uh, I don't know 10 years and I've seen this guy like maybe a dozen times and that's kind of a normal I guess for a lot of places in Japan and but the guy on the other side of him has also been here like about almost 10 years and I've talked to him zero times and I've seen him in fact I saw him tonight that's like maybe the sixth time I've seen him in 10 years total vampire action man just yeah all right okay the girls Bartlett and James they had it they understood it they knew the struggle they're like hey these parties in the woods with Miller High Life and Bud not working, right? The population is stagnant. Got to get something moving here. And they made it happen. 
right, they made it happen. So, but here in Japan, man, good grief. Holy cow. I mean, you know, there are a lot of choices. We'll just end this one here with the most dangerous drink in Japan. If you agree, comment up because you know I've heard this from many folks who've left the country. This is one of the things they really miss actually. And, and one of the cool things about this, you can buy it in a vending machine. Almost anywhere, a vending machine, man. And nowadays those vending machines, they work with a card. You're like, you know, put your something something card up there. And you get this. That's dangerous. That's really, really dangerous. Okay, so gonna sign off. Catch you later.